Hi everyone, really good to see you again today. Disaster, we've had an absolute disaster today. Drove three and a half hours up, stone the wall, had plans to go to a place there, and we thought just in case that's too busy, we've got, we've got two choices. I couldn't even park. Took me over 40 minutes to try and find parking space, couldn't find a parking space. Uh, cameraman ran in, no, your table's gone. Oh, disaster, unreal. However, we've come to Borton on the Water, because you've got plan number three. We're in the beautiful Cotswolds. I'm gonna tell you, bad planning from me. Shouldn't do it on a bank holiday weekend. Leave the Cotswolds alone unless you're just coming along to enjoy it and take a look around. Absolutely unbelievable. Stunning location. Just wish it was a little bit warmer. It has been a bit wet and rainy, but again, it's a bank holiday weekend. What more would you expect? Now, where are we going? We're going to the chip shed, which is just over there. Now guys, this wasn't in the plan. I had, I had something so good today. I was really, really excited. But um, yeah, we're here in the Cotswolds. Got to do something. Oh, by the way, happy Easter, everyone. I hope you've had a fantastic Easter. It's a happy Easter for all of you. As always, let's give it a go. Now, I'm certainly not going across there. One, it looks a little bit cold and I'll definitely get wet. So I'm going to use one of the bridges at the end. Another thing I've got to say, what a beautiful, beautiful little town this is. Okay, bye-bye. Jimmy. Now, I've just taken a look. Queues are massive. Please don't let this be another disaster. Cut it. Okay, so here we are outside. Now, this is incredibly busy. We've gone inside, um, there's a 45 minute wait for a table um, inside. However, you can sit out here. You know, there's loads of seating outside here. It carries on all the way around the back there. Um, I've got to be honest, I actually prefer sitting outside because obviously it's far easier to do the review. However, please don't rain. It hasn't stopped raining. It is a bank holiday weekend. What else do you expect? Now, to cheer myself up, I've ordered loads here. So I've got their traditional takeaway cod and that comes with mushy peas and that's £12.20. I've had, uh, I've got a portion of their scampi, six pieces, uh, £5.30. I've got myself a sausage, a plain sausage at £2.70. Uh, homemade pies. So I thought, hang on, I'll try one of their homemade pies. So I've got a chicken pie as well. That's £5.30. I've got gravy and a curry sauce and they're £1.60 each. So the whole total came to £28.70. Now of all of that, something must be pretty good. Fingers crossed and all that. But the biggest worry is this weather. Now no one worry about the cameraman. There's no way I'm going to eat all that. So he's going to have to help me. I'll see you when the food arrives. The other thing is, this fella here will buzz away when, uh, when the food's ready. However, I do think I've got a bit of a wait because the lady in front of me, she ordered something like 12 portions of cod with chips, sides, sides, you name it, the whole thing. So a bit of a wait coming up. I'll see you when the food arrives. Guys, one thing I've got to apologise. I can't actually show you the takeaway menu because uh, there isn't one to actually have. What I'm going to try and do is take some images there inside of the, of the actual takeaway menu, but that's not going to be too easy because it is absolutely packed in there. The other thing I've got to say is I actually thought it'd be a little bit more expensive. Um, £12.20, that obviously includes the mushy peas, so it'd only be £10.60 for um, cod and chips. Bear in mind where we are, heart of the Cotswolds, and it is absolutely packed here. Okay, once again, just wait for that guy to buzz. I'll see you when the food arrives. Okay, so the food's arrived. Oh my God, that's a big bag. Mind you, I did order a lot, didn't I? Let's put that down there for a second. All right, let's see what we've got in here. Morning. That's a scampi. 
not the biggest portion I've ever seen. Saying that, I did it on the order six, but you know, small looking scampi. And I've got my pie here as well. Let's take that out. The sausage. Curry sauce, gravy. Mushy peas. I'll be a little bit disappointed if this isn't the cotton chips. Let's move that there because it's gonna blow everywhere. And, ta-da! My uh, cod and chips. Now I did actually ask the chap in there if you put some salt and vinegar on there for me. So. Let me just get organized here. I'll see you guys shortly. Okay. Took a little bit of working out, but I've managed to get it all onto one uh, one container, if you like. Did actually like them the way they'd uh, presented everything. Another thing to bear in mind, award winning. Now, I'm gonna start with the scampi. First impressions, I think the scampi, the batter on that scampi could be done a little bit more. It looks a little bit anemic. And the other thing is, you know, that's, that's kind of a one piece there. So, okay. Let's dive in. Do like my scampi. I've got to say, when I'm back in Whitby, definitely going to go for the scampi. I'm not a fan of that batter. It's not massively crisp. In fact, I'll go far as say, I'll take a look here. That is greasy and soggy. Now, it's advertised as um, fresh longestine. Well, they are tiny, with the exception of that fella there. The rest of them are very small. Do not like that batter though. It's greasy, it's very limp. Um, if you ask me, I could do with a little bit more time in the, uh, in the cooking process. They are very disappointing, and definitely not award winning. Now, let's have a look at the sausage here. Jumbo sausage. I could have had it in uh, batter if I wanted to. Um, let's cut into it. Looks kind of like a, a catering sausage, that. It's a catering sausage. Very little flavour to it. Oh, well, I'm glad I ordered quite a lot here because that's really disappointing. You can take a look in there. There's absolutely there's no herbs. There's nothing in there. And again, it is just a catering sausage. But onwards and upwards. Now, the reason why I ordered this is homemade. So please be good. So let's cut into it. So, take a look in there. Now, first impressions there. There's a nice quantity of chicken in there. You've got some carrots as well. But it does look a little bit on the dry side. Another thing you'll notice, <clears throat> I forgot to bring my utensils today because, of course, didn't plan on coming here. Let's, uh, let's try it. some of the chicken out of there. Okay, <clears throat> that was dry. I've been chewing that for about 10-15 seconds. The outside's very crisp, the pastry, but take a look in there. There's absolutely nothing in there. It's um, 
it's obviously the, you've got the chicken what have you but there's no there's no juice in there no gravy no nothing to to give it any moistness um, again makes it dry they have got some nice herbs in there but you're kind of chewing away yeah unfortunately that chicken is really dry i just want to show you I'll cut into it you can see there that is dry but look on the bright side the cameraman has got half a pie most of a sausage and four pieces of scampi now on to the star of the show so i've got the cod here let's move it down let's get it off the chips now i asked the chap in there to season it with salt and vinegar and he has so thank you for that um yeah let's see not a huge crispness to that batter let's, let's dive in because that that piece fell off and take a look in there that's actually very small piece of uh, cod very much the tail end there i'm not going to grab that piece i'm going to cut into it because i think that's only fair let's cut into it and that batter's soggy as well so you have the cod in there yeah that breaks away quite nicely look at the cod there nice color to it nice sheen on there I'm going to pick that up and I'm not actually I was going to pick it up because I've turned it over you can see it's a little bit soggy underneath making a bit of a mess of this I've got to tell you that cod itself is good nice flavor really good flakes in there it's a nice piece of cob. I was looking around to see if there's a bit of lemon there, but there's no lemon. However, take a look inside here with the batter. That batter is very disappointing. No way. I'll tell you what the batter reminds me of. It's batter on the scampi. It's not light. It's, it's very stodgy, where if, if you like, it hasn't been, I don't necessarily think it's been in the fryer long enough. Well, not quality batter. Mm. And I take it all apart. In fairness, it's not the biggest push on the cod either. There's a lot of batter around that cod. So that's a touch disappointing. The cod isn't though. Great flavour to that. Nice flakes. Skin off as well. Now I've got no issue with that cod. As I said, that is really tasty. The batter, not so. Now, it's not cooked in beef dripping. It's just cooked in oil. Um, and I imagine the chips are as well. But let's try one of the chips. Come on. Them chips, they're just very bland even with a bit of the salt and vinegar on there. A little bit disappointing. Right, come on. I'm gonna start with the gravy. Come on, let's get the, yeah, look at the way that gravy sticks to the, the chip, nice. Please be nice. Yes. That's nice gravy. Nice flavor to the gravy. I'm happy with that. Now the curry sauce. Let's um, grab that. Take a look in here. It does look a little bit on the watery side, that curry sauce. Let's move that there. Let's dive in with one of the chips. And the sauce holds the chip, or does it? Mm. Curry sauce itself is quite, quite sweet. And it is, it is a bit thin, I'm afraid. No. It's not a disaster. It's not, if you like, what I'm looking for in a curry sauce. There's no little kick there. It's a little bit fruity and it's very, very thin. 
Now onto the mushy peas. Now Whitby, I was a little bit disappointed with their mushy peas. Let's see if the Cotswolds mushy peas are any better. Unfortunately, they're not much better either. They're very bland. There's no room, there's no massive flavour in that. No, that really needs some seasoning completely to bring, try and bring out the, the flavours there, but there is, um, that, is, that is disappointing. Now, <clears throat> I'll tell you, I'm sitting here a little bit disappointed. Definitely the star of the show is that cod. That cod's excellent. There's no, I've got no issue with that cod. That's excellent. The chips are very bland. The pie itself, well, it's dry. It is incredibly dry. Um, to the point of not being sort of edible. That's that took me ages to go much my way through it. The sausage is just a sausage. It's a catering sausage. It doesn't stand out in any shape or form. And um, the scampi. I better have actually eat that one because uh, I've touched it. It's not fair to uh, keep uh, touching the food and handing it over to the cameraman. But there's nothing on that batter. The longest in itself. It's okay. I'd say it's frozen. Just bland, just nothing there, and the batter is greasy and soggy. So I'm going to plough on. I can see the cameraman's going to give me a hand. Um, I don't, it doesn't look too keen at the moment. And I'll give you my final thoughts afterwards. Um, Award-winning. Not too sure about that. Okay, I'll see you shortly. I'm going to struggle here with this. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Let's cover that in the gravy. Let's, uh, let's put loads of gravy in there. That's got to help, hasn't it? Okay, adding to the disaster is now absolutely lashing down rain, so I'm going to make this quite short. Bought in the water, you've got to come here. Beautiful, it is stunning here. However, what wasn't so stunning was them fish and chips. Now, let's start off here. The cod itself, really like that cod. That was had lovely flavour, flakes in there, brilliant. However, the chips, the chips were bland. Thank you to the guy who served us because he did actually put some vinegar on there and you remember that even though it was really, really busy. Uh, the scampi, I'm not even gonna talk about the scampi, the disaster, absolute shocking. I, the batter on them, terrible, and there were tiny, tiny little prawns if you like. Now the batter on the scampi was very similar to the cod. It was soggy, it was a bit greasy, and I actually think it needed a little bit more cooking and a bit more resting time as well. Uh, the sausage, it was just a sausage, it was a catering sausage. It wasn't great, it wasn't bad, it was just a jumbo sausage. The pie, now I was really looking forward to that, a homemade pie. But as again, you cut into it, the pastry wasn't great, and it was so dry. The only thing that saved it there was that gravy. Talking of which, I like the gravy. That was the star, the cod and the gravy. The mushy peas, mm, they were disappointing. Again, needed a lot more seasoning. And uh, certainly that curry sauce that was too thin and there was not a huge flavor to it. It's just very, very fruity. Onto the bill. I'm not gonna go through everything item by item because I've already done that. Total of 28 pounds 70. Now, what do I think? I think it's a bit of a tourist trap. And I don't like saying that. I do genuinely think it's a bit of a tourist trap. This, this place is absolutely packed full of people visiting, like ourselves. Would I go there again? Unfortunately, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. What mark am I going to give it? I'm going to give it a four out of 10, which is very disappointing. What mark did you give it? Now, the video we did have planned, that will come up soon. So, yep, don't worry about that. That will come up soon. If you could like and subscribe to the channel, you know I always appreciate that. And until next time, bye-bye. Those of you worried about the cameraman, no, he's well sorted. He got himself a baguette. Bye bye. Oh, and it stopped raining. Beautiful sunshine. Typical bank holiday.